what's up? I don't really get out of my apartment that much. Um, you know, especially with this whole, you know, funny situation. It's not really that funny, but like, you know, this whole situation that we have, we've had going on since, you know, about like a year ago now. Um, I don't really go outside that much. I don't really need to. Um, you know, I'm in school, so pretty much all of that is online anyways. In the last year or so, I've just kind of, you know, very rapidly became a shut-in, which, you know, is all right. I don't mind. I actually kind of like it that way. Uh, I feel more productive, which is kind of weird. Before, I used to feel kind of guilty if I just, you know, sat at my computer all day doing whatever, um, literally anything. Um, and things kind of changed because of that. Like, you know, and now it's like, hey, I'm, I'm doing my part, you know? I think because I didn't feel guilty anymore, I was like actually looking for things to do rather than just like sitting around and just like playing video games the whole time. Because of the fact that, you know, I've just been like indoors and I've kind of started to like it that way, uh, you know, in the last year or so, I kind of forgot about how nice it is to just go outside and do stuff. Um, and I was kind of reminded of that yesterday. I woke up because one of my friends texted me, basically asking me to, or telling me he had like an idea, uh, something he wanted to do. So he called me after I woke up and basically he told me about, he wanted to drive about an hour or so to go and go to a Walmart in another city or another town, I guess, and, you know, buy something. And I was like, shit, <laughs> all right. So it's been a long time since I've, you know, I go to stores and stuff to get groceries, but it's always like, it's a very clear objective. And it's always like the, one of the closest places, you know, to me. So I can just go there, get back, be done with it. But this was 40 minutes away, 40 minutes, an hour, something around that. So we go and we are driving and like, it, it's just nice. I don't know. Um, you know, I've, I don't, I, even prior, I, I never really did like road trips with friends or anything. If I was driving a long distance, it was usually going to my parents' house or something. And at that point, it was pretty much by myself. Um, but once again, there's a very like clear cut objective and it's like, just get there as fast as possible, which is a little ironic because, you know, I'm really into cars and like the car scene and everything. And, um, so and like a really common thing obviously is to just go for drives which i definitely don't do as often as i probably should i guess but either way so we go to this walmart and like it just you know one thing leads to another the thing that we were there to get it it's like ugh, it takes like two hours just to actually get it because some processing issues in their system and like it got like held in like the state of like limbo between being registered in inventory and being registered as sold. So then we had to wait for the system to refresh after like half an hour and then we had to go and try it again. And then it was still like in process and there's this whole ordeal. Um, but you know, out of that, like, yeah, getting stuck at Walmart in a town that you've never really been in for two hours. Um, it's not on the surface a very good time. <laughs> Um, but it kind of was, and like, it, I don't know, it just, for those two hours, it felt like peaceful. Like I was, I don't know, it, like the best way I think to describe it, um, my friend described it this way actually was like, it was like kind of being a kid again and like just wandering through the store. Like we, we just wandered through the whole place and, you know, we we're just looking at, um, you know, toys that we would have been interested in if we were like 10 years old again or something. Like, um, we, we went and like looked at like scooters and like bikes and we went and looked at like Legos, which by the way, Legos are still cool. Um, don't at me. 
and um yeah i don't know it was you know nerf guns stuff like that like it was also did you know they have a fortnite nerf guns now like fortnite nerf guns but hey but whatever whatever you know i'm not one to judge anyways i don't know yeah it was just there's something special about it i guess and like yeah you know at the end of the day we were stuck in walmart for two hours but like i don't know there's just something like special about it something very like peaceful uh we were just talking about on the way back like it, you don't really get that anymore even you know pre like pandemic and everything you don't you don't ever really have a reason to drive an hour to go to some walmart that, like so we went to this walmart because there was like a you know a sale going on but it was like at this location only um or the item was at least so like we're like well shit like we gotta go um but like you don't really have to do that anymore for many things like the closest thing i can think of is if you have to go to like an ikea that just so happens the closest one's like an hour away i feel like that kind of experience is rarer and rarer to get because you know you can just pretty much everything now you can just buy and it shows up at your doorstep or it's available at a location that's really close to you anyways it, it really made me kind of reflect on um my, the time that i spend like inside and like you know i'm working on so i would consider a lot of the things that i do to be silly semi-productive whether that be like coming up with ideas for like a video to make and the, this one was pretty spontaneous but um or like editing or you know working on like academic stuff or just anything any like little side project that i'm doing which also i want to probably showcase a little bit um on this channel even though a lot of it's not really that good <laughs> um but hey you know whatever I think that it's especially now with everything you can do everything virtually or like you can work remotely from home and like all this stuff. Um, it, it just becomes harder and harder to make time to just go and spend some time do it, you know, just appreciating like things around us, just like spend some quality time with the boys, you know, it, it's one thing to like go over and just like hang out at like somebody's place, but like it's another thing to like go on, you know, quote unquote adventure together and just like see stuff and just get stuff and whatever else, um, like have, have that like experience together, you know, like there's like a novelty to it. It was very cool, very underrated. It's too easy i think nowadays to just kind of you know like lock yourself up a little bit and like i don't want to describe it as like your own personal cage or like jail or whatever but like in some ways it kind of is too like i think there's a lot of incentive that we create for ourselves to rob ourselves of like particular experiences now like obviously you know there has to be some kind of balance like you can't just you, not that you can't but you it's probably not the best idea to just go and like do nothing but have fun and like go do stuff but like you know it's nice to make that time every now and then that's one thing that i think is really hard for a lot of people to do myself included you know i've come to find out that like i really like just working on stuff and like whatever it is like if, i like working on something that you know i like i could see myself making progress incrementally maybe this video finds somebody and like you watch this and you know somebody's like hey that, that's kind of me um because you know it's sometimes i see videos like talking about this kind of stuff and it's always really helpful for myself kind of reminds me to take a step away and just kind of be in the present and like experience things you know like rather than just kind of like float through just actually sit there and like you know absorb your environment or whatever so yeah um kind of a weird little video but i just want to talk about this experience it's a 
mundane experience, but it, you know, I was thinking about it and, um, yeah, I don't know. It's cool. I definitely kind of look forward to another, you know, sort of scenario like that happening again too, because it's nice. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, that's just my, uh, a little experience, I guess. And, uh, hopefully somebody can, you know, relate or it resonates with somebody, uh, whatever, you know, but yeah, uh, if you like the video, then you know, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you want to see more content, obviously dislike it if you disliked it and yeah, I will uh, see you in the next one.